Hey guys, Shelly with OM here for this week's Tactical Tuesday. Uh, so I wanted to actually cover something that we did that's really interesting for one of our clients. They're a home buyer here in Central Florida and our current lead flow has worked in a way where there is a form where somebody inputs their address and they go to request an offer on their home. And then on the next step, they provide their contact information so that we can you know, reach out to them um, and start talking to them about the process. Um, because people on mobile, um, you know, people, in this industry are a little bit older typically, they're not as technically savvy as younger people, um, and filling out a form on a mobile device is just not as easy or as um, comfortable, I would say, on a mobile device as it is on a desktop. So we decided that we would like to test, instead of having a form, we just have a call button. Phones are perfectly set up to make call. Somebody clicks it, it takes them to their phone app and they can go ahead and get started from there and just talk to a real human being. Um, so we went ahead and I already actually created the setup for it, but I'll go ahead and just really quickly show you how to do that. So if we're gonna add a variant. I'm just gonna keep the base name for simplicity's sake. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go into edit. And it's gonna take me to their website. It's gonna let me go ahead and start making visual edits. So it's currently got me on the standard, which is desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to iPhone X so we can look at a mobile format. And you're gonna see the form that I was talking about. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna click right on it, right click, remove. And then I'm gonna go into here on the request offer and I'm gonna edit the HTML. And I actually copied this over from my last one because I am not a coder and I don't wanna to try to do it by hand. So it was currently, um, or before what's live on the website is um, CSS. So I went ahead and changed it to an href with the uh, call link. You can do this with TEL, colon and then your phone number just written out um, in numbers and it still has the button class it's still got the styling and it says this um, so we're going to go ahead and apply that and it formats real nice um, and yeah so what you can do once that's done is you can just take a quick look um, you can preview it experiment with it if i click on this um, it'll ask me to leave the site um, it's not going to make me leave it's just going to say oh do you want to facetime so that's perfect i'm not actually going to call my client right now um, so things still look good. You're good there. Um, and yeah, so you can go ahead and save it and you're good to go. I would absolutely recommend, um, go ahead and click done. You can send this to preview. I would absolutely recommend that if you have people on your team, um, or if you're able to test it on all types of devices, test it on, um, an iPhone, both on Safari and on the Chrome browser, test it on an Android device and Chrome and whatever browsers you use. Um, and then another thing is because it's only on mobile, you wanna make sure you're doing the correct page targeting and that you're only targeting mobile devices. That way, this doesn't show up on a desktop. It's not gonna make a lot of sense to somebody on their computer um, to go ahead and try to call somebody because that's just, that's not how it works. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I'd be more than happy to respond. Thanks guys.